Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Primal Liquid and another trial mode video for you guys showing you what the best items are and where to get them in trial mode. Okay, so right now we're looking at stages 31 through 40. So let's kick things off on stage 31, shall we? Okay, now not really much here in terms of steals. Uh, however, before we actually jump into the special case on this stage, uh, I'll first go over the uh, treasures. Uh, the treasures. Uh, now, I do suggest having the diamond omelet equipped for this stage since you can get a steel gorget, an argyle, om uh, argyle omelet. Now, granted, these two are pretty terrible, you know, there's nothing really important about getting them. However, you can get the traveler ability, a tourmaline ring, and a balakalava. Now, uh, what was that little bit I mentioned about stealing? Uh, well, as long as you don't kill uh, the main starting guys, run over from the starting position to behind this black rock here, you can spawn a rare game mob uh, called a a Apsera. Now, Apsera does have a semi-decent steal, uh, the Power Rod. It's an uncommon steal, and that's it. Uh, that is a pretty good rod to get early on uh, for your, you know, your healer, your white mage, uh, something like that. Uh, however, it does have some good drops as well. So, for an uncommon drop, it has the Diamond Shield, which, again, is a pretty decent drop. Uh, the Platinum Armor for a rare drop. Now, the Platinum Armor is really good armor, and you normally wouldn't get that until very, very late on in the game. So, again, that can be... Uh, oh, excuse me. That can be a very good piece of armor to get right now, as it will help you survive the higher trial mode stages to get even better better armor uh, not too far away actually but yeah that wraps it up for stage 31 okay and for stage 32 against Zelaria uh, unfortunately there's nothing amazing here uh, but I will just point out uh, the couple of semi decent items I guess uh, okay so for Zelaria you can steal the time bolts the doom mace and the hunting crossbow as common uncommon and rare respectively uh, however if you have the diamond omelet equipped you can get the disable spell a leather gorget terrible item or the windbreaker from the free treasure chest located throughout the area again nothing too amazing i mean i guess the doom mace is semi decent since it's got pretty decent attack power and the hunting crossbow can be used by uh, a red mage but all in all nothing really worth you know stressing out about getting or anything like that Okay, and for stage 34, we're against the Marilith. Uh, the Marilith does have a couple of decent seals. Uh, for the common, uncommon, and rare respectively, you can get the Platinum Shield, Platinum Helm, and Platinum Armor. Again, you know, some uh, some semi-decent uh, pieces of armor there for a heavy armor user. Uh, the Bogies, on the other hand, the free uh, trash mobs as it were, uh, they can actually have a chance of dropping the Eager Blade. Now it is a very rare drop chance, uh, however it is possible and the Eager Blade is pretty strong with I think it's 87 attack off the top of my head, but it's definitely above 80, so you know I mean if you've got a, uh, a Shikari, I was going to say Hunter then, if you've got a Shikari character you know, it can be useful getting it early on, but you know what I mean, if you don't have a Shikari or you aren't using a Shikari, then uh, I wouldn't really go for it, simply due to the amount of time it could take you to get this, as, you know, again, it, it can take a very long time with it being a very rare drop chance. On the flip side, however, uh, from the treasure chest, if you have the Diamond Omelette equipped, you can get uh, the Water Spell, uh, which is Aquara, or you can get a Wizard's Robe, which is a Mystic Armor. Okay, uh, for stage 35 uh, against Andromalak. Uh, Andromalak actually has some uh, some decent stuff. Uh, so common, uncommon, and rare is the Rasalgeti. Uh, the Rasalgeti is a gun weapon. Uh, pretty decent for a machinist. However, there are better things you can get still quite early on in the game. So I wouldn't really suggest going for that. Uh, the uncommon is the Traitor's Bow. Uh, that's a, actually a pretty good bow for... Um, Archer characters, it is better than the Burning Bow, uh, however it will do less damage than the Burning Bow with Fire Arrows, so do just keep that in mind. Uh, on the other hand, the rare steel is the Rubber Suit, which is actually a really strong piece of uh, armor, which is light armor, so you know, if you can get uh, one or two of them for your characters, I I'd say go for it, you know, simply due to the fact it would be a nice defense increase pretty early on. And again, uh, you can spawn, uh, sorry, two Skull Wimes will spawn uh, in the Dead Ends, uh, and they have a 3% chance to drop Dark Matter if you have the Canopic Jar. In terms of treasure chests, uh, if you've got the Diamond Armlet, you can get a Barbut, Rose Corsage, Gauntlet, and Oil Bombs. However, the four of those are kind of useless at this point of the game, so I wouldn't really go for them if you can make it to stage 35 and clear it comfortably, because there are better things uh, coming up and in previous stages. 
Okay, and for stage 39 against the Shamazai, uh, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong, but okay. Uh, right, uh, for steals, you can steal a Treaty Blade as an uncommon steal, or for the rare steal, uh, you can get the Dawn Shard. Um, honestly, uh, I'd say sure, steal one if you want, but it's not really all that important. I mean, you'll get them through the story anyway, and they aren't really that amazing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, the plus side for stage 39, however, is if you have the diamond armlet equipped, uh, one of the treasure chests actually has the main goucher in, and as I said in uh, a previous video, the main goucher does actually have uh, 50 evasion, which uh, it can be pretty useful, you know, it, you can pretty much make an invincible t uh, physical tank uh, from any character that can equip daggers like uh, the white mage or the shikari. Okay, and to wrap things up on stage 40, uh, the only steal and the only item on this stage we have getting is from the Gavile monster and it's an uncommon steal, uh, however it is the Thief's Cuffs. It's also the only item it has to steal so you know as long as you can actually get a steal off you can get the Thief's Cuffs which again I do highly recommend getting as it will pretty much save you from ripping all of your hair out. Uh, coming up in a few of the other steals in the next video actually. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video guys, hope it helped, hope you liked it, if you did then hit that like button and subscribe for more videos and as always I'll see you later.